The world is such a beautiful place. There are so many places to go and sights to see. But you know, not every place should be seen. And some places are unseen for a reason. This is number 11. Enjoy your stay. Hi there! My name is Waitley. With a W. Welcome to town. How was the bus ride? Bumpy? Well, well um, I hope you like it here. The place is brilliant. The fog rolls off the hills in the morning, engulfing the entire place in it. Sometimes, around midday, the fog clears up and you can see Lake Toluca appear. A lot of people love it here. It is a beautiful place. It does have a lot of, well, bad PR, you could say. At least for a resort town. Apparently there's been a history of crazy cults and insane people. There was a woman who supposedly murdered her own son because of people in the mirrors. Uh, there was a, another tale about a, a beat-up old man wielding a steel pipe who apparently blabbered on about monsters he knew were in the town. They found him dead the next day. Practically ripped apart. Then there was that girl who died in that fire. She was taken to Alchemia Hospital for several third-degree burns. Hearsay around town is that the fire was set in the house by her own parents. Crazy. I know, I know. Say, you got a pretty nice jacket there. Cold, huh? Yeah, that's the town. Oh, oh, did you know? I saw a couple the other day. A sick wife and her nice husband. He had that same jacket that you have. Oh, well, well, I mean, it wasn't that jacket, obviously. His was green. Yeah, that was it. There was a flag on one sleeve and all that. Nice fella. Forget his name. J something. Everybody knows everybody here, except the tourists, you know. <laughs> like you. Oh, but you are thinking of moving here, right? I assure you, you'll love it. Oh, where are we now? Nathan Avenue. This is where all the tourists go to make use of all the town stores, the shops, the pubs restaurants and the like. You know, I, I think people leave a part of their hearts here. You know, honestly, like, like, a, like a happy memory. And then they come back. They always come back. I hope you aren't tired. My car is parked all the way over at Rosewater parking lot and <laughs> we'd be walking an awful long way. Don't worry. The scenery will seduce you. Oh, hey! It's Jim! 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 
<laughs> Jimmy must not have heard me. He's the school custodian. I wonder why he's in Southvale right now. So I have a store up near Harris Street. It's a little shop called Desired Artifacts. I know, it sounds fancy and all. Hey, maybe, maybe you should stop by. <laughs> Just pulling your leg, friend. It's a general store slash pharmacy, so now you'll know where to get your pills. <laughs> oh, let's see. What else do we have in a peaceful little town like this? Oh, believe it or not, we have a bowling alley. Pete's Bolorama. Do you bowl? We should get together sometime and play then. You should probably bring your bags to your motel room now. That is where you're staying, right? Come on, Jackson isn't far away. Just look for the check-in counter and I'll meet back up with you later. I have some errands to go do. You can ask Jack to tour you around, but I suppose you'll be wanting your rest. You're from Fall Creek, right? That trip must have been hell on your back. <laughs> Not to mention the bumpiness and then the problems it causes to your sleeping habits. Well, I'd better be off. Tell Jack I said hello. Is he gone? Oh, thank God. Listen, this place, this place is not what it seems. This, this, is, this is no simple resort town. I don't even know what you would call this place. Tell me, what do you see? What the fuck do you see? None of it's real. None of it, none of it at all. This place, has gone to hell, my friend. And Waitley is the fucking devil. You can't see it. You can't see it, so so I'll, I'll tell you what's really here. And then you, you can just agree with me, okay? This motel, this motel is crumbling. And the entire space is dilapidated hell. The entire town is fucking dead. Do you see the fog? Do you? You do, God damn it! You do! The devil damned me to this motel, he damned me to attend this, this receptionist desk, and then he killed my wife, and now he runs the town. Just like that, he rules the town, he rules whatever is in that damn fog, and whatever it is, it ain't human. Oh, don't tell me you haven't seen it, that thing! He'll tell you I've owned this place for 30 years. And he's right. But it's been much longer than that. Get me out of here, man. Get me out of this receptionist desk. Maybe, maybe I can get you out alive. I see, I see the look on your face. Damn it, you think I'm crazy. But I know he doesn't see everything. I think I found a way out. Thank you, friend. Thank you for freeing me. I, I think I... <sighs> That thing, that thing is so loud. It's an old air raid siren. I can't hear myself think. Hey. Hey, can you hear me? Hey. Hey. I'm ever so sorry about that. Jack is... Well... Jack is something. 22 years ago, he killed a woman staying in the motel. They committed him to Brookhaven Asylum, and he stayed there until he was released by the doctors. Two decades, if memory serves me. Know why he said he did it? Because his mama made him do it. No, kid you not. Ten years into his incarceration, his wife died. In that fire I told you about earlier. Where are we now? Why, a room at Jack's Inn. Paid for it with my money, of course, but then again, nobody's manning the receptionist table, so... Jack is in the drunk tank on Neely Street. Went by with Deputy O'Connell earlier to check on you. Jack was caressing you with blood on his hands and blood on your forehead. We were afraid you were dead. So he took Jack to the drunk tank and I checked to see if you had a concussion. 
I feel terrible now. I hope this won't alter your view of our quaint little town. I'm going to see Jack now, see if we can get some answers. You should get some rest. I'm sure you also want the same thing, right? Answers? Sleep tight, friend. The town. The town is starting to change. I can't help myself but sit here and rock back and forth and back and forth. I don't know what to do. He knows. He knows I told you. That's why you fell asleep. I, you see, I was, I was taken away too. He showed me. Something I, I should have never seen. A nightmare. A nightmare of his own creation. I can't tell you how horrible it was to have seen it. Wait, 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 what, what was I saying? I, I can't remember. Was I saying something about my wife? I, I, I don't know. And who are you? Are you a newcomer? Are, are you? Are you? Are you new? It's coming. I can't be seen with you. It's that demon. And his laugh. Shit, 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 don't you see? It's getting darker. It's all fading into black. No, 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 no. Not fading. It's being consumed by it. Don't, don't you see? This town is a gateway. A gateway to something darker. Not something biblical, something far worse. Hell isn't on some other plane of existence. It's, it's here in our minds. And that's why I can't live. I can't live like this. I, I shouldn't be alive right now. I shouldn't be losing my mind. Bring me back to Brookhaven, Mama. I'm, I'm, I, can't, I can't. I can't. You. You used to have a chance. Get out. Get out while you still can. He's coming for you. The devil is coming for you. You have to step out of the room first, friend. Dr. Crane is here to assess the patient's mental capacity. Though no, that's just formality. We all know Jack's going into some wonderland that he made up in his head. Poor guy. Just couldn't get over the death of Gertrude. Jack did really love that woman even if she never loved him back. Gert might have looked innocent, but she was horny as a hellcat back in the day. I can't express how sorry I am to have made your first day in our town so horrible. I am so sorry this has to happen to you. How, how can we make it up for you? Free pass to Lakeside Hotel? How about it, huh? I can make that happen. After all, we can't let your first day in town be ruined. You are going to be staying here for a long time, right? Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you the wonderful name of our town. Welcome to Silent Hill, friend. I hope you enjoy your stay.